It's your routine Saturday afternoon in Morgantown, West Virginia. Just another Saturday here for the beloved Mountaineers. But folks in these parts are saying this is the biggest college football game we've ever hosted. ABC Sports College Football in association with the College Football Association presents a Big East matchup featuring the University of Miami Hurricanes and West Virginia University. Donnie Neelan, the coach of the unbeaten and untied Mountaineers, they and Miami are at the top of the Big East standings. The weather. Folks, it is not Miami hurricane weather. So why aren't we playing this game in Miami? Coming up now, it's the Canes and the Mountaineers on ABC. Kelchner on the Mountaineers, their first play of the game. Fires complete to Hill at the 35-yard line, and Paul White defending. So it is Jake Kelchner who transferred to West Virginia from Notre Dame. He is the leading quarterback in the nation right now. Did not want to be left in second and long against this great defense. Now it is Walker, Robert Walker, blasting to the 30. And a first down, West Virginia. Walker with wonderful speed when he gets the corner turned. He's a dangerous runner. Rich Bram, a tackle that Dick has liked all season long, especially that straight ahead, that blast blocking. Warren Sapp, he's a tremendous defensive line in the middle. Brian and Patrick, they are the sack artists. Rohan Marley, there was a rumor sweeping Morgantown. In fact, an article that he wouldn't play. He's here. Dexter Siegler, the ringleader. Kelchner again getting time and now piled on by Kenny Lopez, 71. He just can't single up on, uh, double up on one guy. 16-yard loss for the sack. They run the fullback to the 41-yard line. Kelchner right side incomplete wanted Mike Baker who's replaced the injured Jamie Sherman here today Sauerbrunn a superb punter bounces inside the 10 this one's going to be downed at the three Todd Sauerbrunn Ryan Collins a month ago out of Pembroke Pines Florida has taken over gives him a little bit better running dimension number eight a sophomore at control Donnell Bennett is his lone running back Bennett, right side, stopped at the four by Wes Richardson, their leading tackler. They came into the season thinking they would use two, but Larry Jones will come out alone sometimes. Always talented wide receivers with a great deal of speed. Casey Jones, he is the center on a very talented offensive line. Tim Brown, great athlete defensively for West Virginia. And the man who calls the signals in that secondary is David Mayfield, number 30. Now second and seven. Fake the delay. Roll to the left. And Collins will keep it. Out of bounds, but short. Anticipate a quarterback sneak. That's not a guarantee, but with that kind of a quarterback, a little quick jump into the gap. Casey Jones, the center. They fumble. fumble. They took the loss. Collins went back on the ball and pounced on it. And Mike Baker against the savage rush to Baker on the first hop. Baker slips through to the 39. Again at the 39-yard line, Kelchner, the quarterback, Robert Walker, the lone running back. Walker, left side, 
gain of about three before Robert Bass. USC cannot afford to give up a lot of points in that baby. UCLA armed with its quarterback this week. It'll be interesting. Helchner, right side, oh. almost intercepted. That was White. Paul White. We saw Darren Studstill on the sideline. Did a good job of quarterbacking this team last week. Could see action here today. Kelchner firing complete to Mike Baker. Vanterpool, the freshman slotted to the right. Instead, it's the fullback Freeman to the 22-yard line. They are talented on the defensive side. Walker hole in the middle. Walker to the 17 and Rohan Marley. They wrap the arms for the most part. Good tackling team. Third now and one. Kelchner's going to throw for it. Now sprinting out of trouble. Throwing back. Incomplete in the end zone. A dangerous throw. He should have gone ahead and tried to make that first down. They were running the ball pretty effectively. That tackle trap you showed us was great. This is Tom Mazzone. 35 yarder. No good. And oh, would they love to have third down back. We all do that as coaches. Donnell Bennett in the game. Ryan Collins, the Hurricane quarterback. We got a blitz. The draw. And he is eaten up. Matt Tafoni, number three. Second and 12. Collins from the shotgun. Offensive line holds up beautifully. Now an open picked off. At the 32 by Mike Collins. Collins to the 30. Collins across the 20 and still going. Collins, a brilliant return to the eight yard line. They must not let this one slip away. You can't give the Hurricanes too many opportunities. Walker to the left. Walker, nothing doing. Corwin Francis, 58. Walker. Walker for perhaps a yard. So Ops. here's the third and goal. Kelsner going to swing it out to Walker. Walker with a penalty flag down. <laughs> Illegal blocking above the boys in the back against the offense. Ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Repeat third down. I've got more on that in a moment. I'm going to follow up on that. Did a little water date earlier today. Kelsner with time deflected and Baker can't scoop it up. Now they have sent Sauerbrunn into the game to attempt this field goal of 45 yards. Coach Nealon explaining he was going to try him on longer ones and is no good. I'm not sure it was a clean exchange. And another great performance by the defense so far. Now the offense needs to stand up. Collins out of the shotgun has been shaky. Hits Bennett over here on the right flat. And Bennett is slammed out of bounds. And James Stewart, who hit a big run against Rutgers last week, a talented young running back out of Vero Beach, Florida, checks in. Gets into the action on a cutback. Fumble! And West Virginia pounces on it. Wes Richardson. Walker sweeping to the right. You called it. Bass comes up. It, let's see what happens here. Kelsner going to hand it to Walker. There's nothing going here, folks. Forget about it. 25-yard line. That talented Miami front. Third and 10 for the Mountaineers. Kelsner fires. First down. The penalty flag is down. We have a face mask, a five-yard inadvertent face mask against the defense before the pass was complete so the play the penalty declined the play stands first down for penn state michigan state first and ten for the mountaineers still trying to get into the end zone using the fullback jimmy freeman Kelsner, the walker and walker is slammed at the nine yard line The fake, Kelsner to throw it. It does to his tight end, Nate Ryan, number 87. In fact, they haven't made a field goal inside the 30 this year. He's up. Finally. You bet. 
you have a little passing interest in this one. Let's go to John Saunders. How about the Bruins and the Trojans? Out of bounds, coming out of the 35-yard line. Bennett back in at running back. Bennett to the left side. Bennett is stuffed. Derek Wiley, 45. No running backs. Collins, you can see how he avoids the first man, and he's sacked at the 17-yard line. Scott Gaskin. Then it's the running back. Collins in the shotgun. Three-man rush for the Mountaineers. Middle screen. Bennett. Bennett. Slammed out at the 31. Baker set to return. This time a better punt to the 27-yard line. Baker trying to cut back away from trouble. Ball is fumbled. Miami's still going after it and West Virginia. The scramble is on. And West Virginia hangs on. Darren Stutzdill. So he can run Checks the in at quarterback, giving them a little more mobility. His first series, Walker sprinting to the left. Walker showing his first flash to the 20-yard line. Leading by a field goal here in the second quarter. Walker slashes back to the inside. That could spell trouble at the end of this one. Second and short. Woodard, who checked in at fullback, bolts ahead. First and ten. Stud still throwing for the first time in trouble and he goes down at the 30-yard line Warren Sapp to earn a berth in the Rose Bowl second and 14. Walker and he is surrounded you saw crying coming from the backside third and 13 and the quarterback runs the draw stud still the mobility to the 42-yard line, short of the first down by a couple of yards. It's returnable. Takes a big, big bounce for the Mountaineers, however. And so first and ten for Collins and the Kane. Going to fake the end around. And Collins with a receiver covered, so he takes off. And Collins to the 25. And out at the 34, Miami's first first down here. Larry Jones, the running back, gets his first call of the game. Almost slipped the tackle to the 38. It was Bennett returns. Collins changes the play at the line of scrimmage. And here's where the crowd becomes a factor at Morgantown. See, they've changed the defensive front. He didn't like that front. The late toss. Run out of bounds Ooh. by Wes Richardson, number, number 41. is stuck and it's Wiley 45 who led the charge and back deep is Mike Baker Baker decides late and that's dangerous when you reach down on a ball like that isn't it to be back directing the Mountaineers first and ten now for Stutzdale Mountaineers up a field goal gonna throw on first down and got a man wide open on that far side so who's going to jump where? Who's going to wind up a what bowl game? It's interesting, isn't it? And the fullback, Woodard, for the first down. You can probably get some odds. First and ten. And Walker can't get it turned as Rohan Marley cut him down. Movement. The defensive lineman got back. Play fakes. That's still going to throw it over the middle. Almost intercepted by Robert Bass. Last line. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> I'll get us off the hook. Third and 12. Stutzdale on the roll. Stutzdale throwing downfield. Oh, and interference. Oh, interference. He was tackled by C.J. Richardson. Pass interference on the defense. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. At the 47. First down, West Virginia. The delay, it's Walker. 
to the 41 yard line on Studstill has to go down and there were penalty flags dead ball foul false start on the offense five yard penalty repeat second down and attempting to intercept the pass couldn't it Hill comes in motion Studstill's gonna throw it incomplete and Studstill has time Intercepted at the 15-yard line. Terrace Harris picks it off. Donnell Bennett, the running back. And Collins off a fake. Throws to a tight end. They ordered those and had them shipped in. Second down. And this time it's Jones getting the call. Forced out on the far side. Basic running play with Bennett behind the left side of the offensive line. They're struggling here again against the Mountaineers. Maybe they can search and find a big play. Collins, receivers are covered, slips a tackle. Going to run out of bounds at the 34-yard line. A big one for them. That would leave them one victory away from the Rose Bowl. Now it's third and four. No running backs. And they're going to throw against it. Incomplete. Miami forced to punt. The it, it hasn't been good yet today. He has had a good career returning punts. This one's an easy one. Pounces on the ball, and uh, West Virginia ranked ninth. Kelso returns, and so does the sack attack. Ray Lewis, 52. Kelchner on the delay, handing to Woodard. Woodard sprints to the left, and Marley there at the point of attack. Woodard again, and he is taken on by Corwin Francis. Beautiful punt. He slips at the 14. And he is taken down. But here today, they are scoreless in the first half. Bennett is the Canes running back. Collins on first down. Open receiver, complete to the 40-yard line. Shotgun fumble. Collins picks it up, and now he'll take it out of bounds, so he made something out of nothing, a penalty flag. Dead ball, personal foul, late hit against the defense, first down. First and ten for the Canes, and again, Collins drops back to the shotgun look. Offensive line holds up with the receivers, and now Collins to the end zone, intercepted Mayfield. Poor judgment again by Ryan. Ball on their own 20 is Mayfield with a turnover. And the fullback to the 26-yard line from Sudafed Skate America all tomorrow. Excellent. Walker and Walker to the 26-yard line. Third and four. And Kelchner going to throw for it. Now tries to get Hill. And it was out of bounds anyway. It was obvious then that Kelcher knew he could not sprint. Pressure in the middle, but Sauerbrunn got off a of beauty. He's going to drive Harris back to the 16-yard line under pressure. That was great punt coverage and well done by Sauerbrunn. Well, the penalty brings the ball back inside the 15-yard line. Time remaining. Bennett with Hawkins there defending. The first half comes to an end in Morgantown. The unbeaten, untied Mountaineers leading by a field goal and John Saunders and Sauerbrunn. Their fine punter also handles the kickoffs. There's the kickoff to start the second half into the end zone. They have just received the announcement. 
How high can the Mountaineers climb? And what about the Hurricanes? Boston College stuns Notre Dame 41 to 39. Wow. Ryan Collins, the quarterback. Collins slam at the 25 yard line. I'm not changing the play, and that's going to be tough here in Morgantown the rest of the way now. Collins keeping it, no one to pitch to. Slammed at the 24 yard line. No backs, everybody out. And he hits the running back who had gone out as a wide receiver. Stewart. Tafoni tackles him. He sees the blitz look man-to-man -man coverage over toward the slot, Brent. Tafoni. He sprints away from him. Tafoni pursuing a wobbler. Out of bounds and incomplete. And it was Tafoni. Marcus Wimberley to the left along with Tellison. That's Bennett. It's a shotgun and a three-man rush. And against that rush, he fires complete to Chris T. Jones. Notre Dame has lost. So here, West Virginia beating Miami by a field goal. Collins keeping it. Collins around the left side. Still can't find a receiver. Picks up a block. Tafoni now in pursuit. And it's incomplete as Timmy Brown. That is amazing. It's the all-time record for a linebacker here at West Virginia. Being shut out so far in Morgantown. Collins with time. And complete to Harris. Right now, Miami struggling, trailing by a field goal, second and seven. It's 3-0, West Virginia. Fires complete to the 40-yard line, and that's Chris T. Jones in a first down. Chuck Ninus being involved with the CFA, the head of that fine organization. Here's the handoff now to Stewart. That's Mayfield bringing him down. Okay, Jack. Second down now for the Hurricanes. They have driven down to the West Virginia 30. Donnell Bennett trying to pick his daylight. Mayfield comes up again. And there's a penalty flag. It was thrown late. Up. And Collins is forced to alter the play again. See, they get up there and they cover the center and both guards. It's tough to run inside. They're coming after him. If he can get this off, we'll have one-on-one -on -one coverage. Collins out of the end zone. And you can see that the noise here in Morgantown is playing havoc with the Canes offense. Under pressure, he'll take off. Tafoni can't catch him. And now he's hit by Tommy Orr. They're stacked inside. Bennett bolts for the first down. Gonna get it. Stewart still battling to about the four or three yard line. And over there for the first down, leaving him that short. Bennett slams for the first and goal. Harris is number 40, leading the way. Donnell Bennett blasts to the end zone for the Hurricanes. The game's first touchdown is scored by Donnell Bennett. Miami's lead increases by one. So the Hurricanes ahead for the first time. 7-0, and West Virginia has allowed Dick only six rushing touchdowns. He's battling out. Both had bad years, didn't they? On the ground. And it's picked up by one of the short men. They did not want to give the ball to one of those talented freshmen. First and ten. Ryan in motion. Walker. Walker to the 44 and the winner here is headed for one of the big bowls we just don't know which one yet then we won't until next weekend still a lot of snaps ahead of us here's a handoff now to Walker 
Walker brought down by Bass. Jake Kelchner forced out of the pocket and then brought down from behind three sacks on the afternoon already. Kelchner in trouble, runs out of it this time. Jake Kelchner limps off. The hamstring pull obviously bothering him. He picks up a first down as Stutzdale puts the helmet on. There's no question we're going to be seeing him before this game is over. Walker, very talented, pounds to the middle of that defense and flexes, brings him down. On second down, Woodard. Woodard for the first down. Playing on it right now, isn't he? And again, it is that short man. They were using that fullback. See, they moved the defense over to an odd defense now. A little tougher to run inside. Walker on. again. Walker to the left with a great speed. Walker maintains his balance. And another West Virginia first down. When you've got a running back like Walker, if your wide receivers will help downfield, oh, makes him that much more dangerous. The middle of the King defense. They've got to come up with something here. Could be a passing situation here for Kelsner. It is in trouble again. But he stumbles away. Maintains his balance, and Jake Kelsner runs for it to the one-yard line. Holy cow, a first down. First and goal for Kelsner and the Mountaineers. Walker is stuffed short. I can't see that. Here, second and goal. And the defense again, equal to the task. The left side when he gets to that corner. Let's see what they come up with here. Third and goal. Kelsner's in trouble. Going to throw. Touchdown! The fullback, Woodard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The extra point is good. Sauerbrunn. Going to be downed in the end zone. It'll come out on the 20-yard line. Donnell Bennett. Collins on first down. On the move. Wants to throw this one away. And instead, it's complete. He hit Clausell. The offensive line doing a fine job. Really held up. And he hits Harris. Collins pass. And here it is first and ten. The ball at the Mountaineers 45. And the Canes mount a second drive. Bennett, nowhere. Steve Dunlap, the defensive coordinator. The end of the third quarter. Unbeaten West Virginia. Leading once beaten Miami by a field goal. Second and nine for Miami to start the fourth quarter. The Canes trailing by a field goal. And Stewart into the game as the running back. Collins is going to throw. The screen is to Stewart. And a great hit by Richardson. Third and seven. Collins now forced to scamper. Richardson chasing him. Richardson forces him back. Collins again eludes the defender. Throws across field. Complete. Tellison. You talk about Sandlot football. Holy mackerel. 42-yard gain. First and goal. Tellison has caught seven passes of 30 or more yards this season. Talk about a huge play. Changed the entire tempo of this football game. Crowd was stunned. Bennett cuts back, battling for the end zone. And he has kept out. Tim Brown was there. And that scramble play again, I think. Stewart. Stewart is short. Third and goal. Collins trying to get them all in the right position here on third and goal. The toss is to Bennett. Touchdown, Miami. Well, they went in the right direction. They've had trouble getting lined up, but once they got lined up, they got it done. Dane Pruitt adds the extra point. And here it is a four-point Miami lead. 
after that busted play of 42 yards from Ryan Collins to A.C. Tellison. Yeah, on the ground, and it is fielded at the 35-yard line by Purnell. And Purnell is out of bounds with over 12 minutes to play here in Morgantown. Walker on a cutback. And a penalty flag comes late as C.J. Richardson. So the five-yard face mask penalty puts the ball at the 49-yard line. Jake Kelchner, second and one, using Woodard. Woodard blasting for the first down. Old Jake, he's lost part of his name there on his jersey. Walker tackled beautifully by Kenny Lopez. Both these teams think they have a shot at the national title. Well, don't send it to South Bend. Kelser on the hand to Walker. Walker down at five remaining in the fourth. Kelsner down the left sideline. Baker's covered and it's incomplete. White Sauerbrunn. Harris signals fair catch at the 10 yard line. Donnell Bennett is the running back. Haynes for the first down. Coming out for their own 10 yard line, it's Bennett for a couple of yards that time. It, it's still in the game plan. It's good to have him back, but Brent, why do they all want to go into TV? <laughs> they think that sideline job is so easy, Jack. That's, yeah, that's the, the case. He's <laughs> working as an intern, by the way, for a local station. <laughs> it's a five yard face mask. And here, Miami leads West Virginia by four, 14 to 10. And this is Bennett. Bennett gets to the outside on the right and a penalty flag. First and 14. Fumble snap on the shotgun and Collins wisely. Second and 20. Collins trying to get a bunch. Okay. Incomplete. Needing 20 yards here. Collins and Miami will punt punter has wind to his back right now Brent if he gets it up there that's going to carry it Baker to the 42 yard line up the middle Baker cuts the right Baker to the 30 yard line and the Mountaineers with another opportunity 14 10 Miami the Canes up by four. West Virginia with Kelchner handing off to Woodard, the fullback, and Robert Bast inside the Canes' 30-yard line here on second down. Kelchner is going to throw it. He's in trouble, steps away, and a foot raise for that hamstring, and he has no chance with Riley. Pat Riley is going to come in the game. Holding. Huge call against Miami. A first and ten. The ball is at the Miami 19-yard line now. Mountaineers down by four. Here's Walker. Walker left side. Walker. Ten more girls score. Mountaineers lead. Tom Mazzone adds the extra point. West Virginia ahead again. We'll be back for the final six minutes. Here in Morgantown. At the goal line, it's Siegler. 20 to the 26-yard line. They love this football team. Bennett being stretched out. Nowhere as Tim Brown does it again. Extra defensive back inserted in the Mountaineer defensive backfield. Collins. Collins dancing out of the pocket again. Stumbles and down at the 25. Mike Collins tripped him up. Larry Jones, third and 10. Jones checks into the backfield. They're moving over to the quarterback's left. 
Stubber stepping in motion. And Collins fires incomplete. Intended for Chris T. Jones. The only thing Baker has to do is field it cleanly and don't be careless with the football. Fair catch. That's how cleanly he'll come up with this one That's at right. the 35-yard line. First and 10, but this will be dangerous against this Miami defense. They're coming again. And Woodard is stuffed right there. Sap all over him. Second <laughs> and 11. Here's the handoff, and it is Walker. Walker maintains his balance. And a flag down at the 35-yard line. Holding on the O. Bruins kicked us another field goal. That lead now six points. The fake to Walker. Kelchner buys time. The middle double cover. The diving reception against the double coverage. They hit Kearney. The good speed can go under it. He, it's underthrown, and he goes and takes it right off the turf. Nice job by Jay Kearney. A magnificent play. A big play. And his first catch of the day for 41 yards may have been the biggest play of the season for the Mountaineers. First down inside, Miami's 35. They're bringing in the round. This is Vanderpool, the freshman. And Vanderpool, a first down again. Now Miami faces a clock situation, 2.48 to go. This is Woodard. Woodard off the right side. And he slams inside the 15-yard line. The eyes of the voters, this is second and five. Of course, first things first, they got to hang on here. This is Walker stepping into the middle of that defense. Does a wonderful job, popular with other coaches. Leading by three, Walker to the nine-yard line. Nice tackle by Terrace Harris. Leading by three with a minute to go now. Jake Kelchner, pulled hamstring and all. He's just going to kneel it down here and take time off that clock. See, Miami doesn't have any timeouts left, so to its greatest triumph ever, Jake Kelchner. Let that celebration begin. West Virginia has done it. They're storming the fortress, boys. We're going to come back with this scene, but right now, let's quickly check in with John Saunders. John, what a day in college football. Here in Morgantown, West Virginia beating Miami 17-14 to, to stay unbeaten.